Hello! In the last episode, we made it so that we randomly create, not randomly, we create a specific pattern of strokes like this, but of course, uh, eventually it just overloads and the thing freezes in, in just pure slowness. It never actually, uh, well, it might crash if you run out of RAM, but it doesn't, it doesn't crash uh, due to an infinite loop or anything, it's just too many objects. What we're going to do in this, in this particular episode is we're going to add a little bit of smarts uh, to the system so that we can create our own brush strokes out of some random brushes. So first thing we need to do is we need to open up the brush function function class C sharp file there we go grind grind and you can see how we've got a... oh that's not it there it is <clears throat> You can see how we've got this public brush, blah, 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 which I kind of put in without thinking about it too much, but we actually want to have a secondary one, like this, which makes us, oh, which makes us random. Uh, now, one of the things that we're going to be doing now is... Now, uh, too many nows. Anyhow, one of the things we're going to be doing is we don't actually need to have a height. All we need to have is a width. Uh, and the reason for that is because we're going to be stepping one... Uh, delta pixel at a time uh, so we can draw maps better. So we'll just go ahead and delete the height like so. And down here we'll delete it here and we'll replace PY with Y. And so here when we do this brush random brush what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this dot color equals to color dot red just keeping it easy. And then we're going to make this dot width equal to random dot... is there a... range. There it is. Uh, 1 to 5. And that'll give us a random brush. And what we're going to do here in MapMaker is, you see how this is public, we're going to go ahead and make this protected. And then we're instead going to have a public variable called brush num. Here in start, the first thing we do, well, first, I guess we don't have to make it the first thing, we have to make sure to actually create all those brushes. Like so. Um, we actually need to set up brushes to be instantiated first. So that gives us 10 random brushes. The next thing we need to do is we need to make it so that each brush transitions to a different brush. And now here is where uh, Unity falls down just a little bit because Unity doesn't serialize the dictionary class properly. So we can't simply use a dictionary like I'd like. Instead we're just going to use an array. So this array will contain all of our. I'm going to delete this. I don't need it. This array will contain all of our transition um, arguments, and the issue here is that uh, I'm not going to explain what those are. <laughs> so I guess I can try, um, but we're not at an advanced enough state where we where I can show you transitions. Uh, when a brush detects a certain thing it transitions to a different brush. So in the stroke, right now we duplicate it to ourselves. What we're instead going to do is we're going to do to duplicate it into a different brush. Um, and then we're just going to do for int a equals 0 is less than 4 a plus plus. Actually just gonna take out the random hard-coded value. We don't need it. But we do need to know how many brushes we are going to be able to pick from. Oh, uh, brush num. And yes, the brush can transition to itself. There's no nothing wrong with that. So over here in MapMaker, we need to make sure to pass each brush uh, the number of brushes, like so. So that'll give us 10 random brushes that point to random other brushes. 
So here in strokes, we need to actually initialize that as well, but we only really need to initialize one stroke. Oh, we can make that protected. Like so. And we're just going to go ahead and set stroke to have the proper elements that we would like it to have. The reason I changed that around is because right now we have the brushes drawing a wide pattern rather than a tall pattern. Oh, and we need to make it so that the brushes have a step. That should do. Yep. And the last thing we need to do is here in Stroke, instead of duplicating ourself, we need to duplicate to the brush that is being specified. So here is where we have to get a new brush equals maker dot brushes. Oh, we can't because we've made it private. So over here in MapMaker, we have to do a public variant. Like so. We have to do a public variant. So. I'm actually not sure how that works. Maybe we'll just make it a function. Yeah, for now we'll just make it a function. So undo all that, that garbage. Sorry. There we are. Um, I don't happen to know off the top of, off the top of my head uh, what the value, how, how, what the arguments come in as. So. There we go. That should work. So over here in stroke we say new stroke dot brush equals maker dot get stroke get brush get get brush there it is. And then we need a brush number which we can get from the brush we currently have. And we will just use the zero with argument. Um all right, well, let's go ahead and see whether or not that worked. Nope. Mapmaker strokes is... Oh, okay, so Mapmaker's strokes does have to be public because we're going to be modifying that quite a lot. We could do a getter and setter, but uh, who cares. All right, so there you can see that what we have is we have the same thing we had last time, except that now we're generating all of this stuff automatically rather than generating it here in the uh, in the editor window. But we still have out of control multiplication on the brushes and other similar problems, and the brushes are not very smart. So that's what we're going to fix in the next episode.